This is Danish from jobskillshare.org In this video, I am going to show you how to upgrade Windows 7 64-bit system to uh, Windows 10 64-bit system. But you know, while we're doing this, we're going to answer some of the questions. I am going to put a Microsoft link into the description where you need to check that if your computer is compatible. There are a few things. Now, if you are using Windows 32-bit, uh, Windows 7 32-bit system, you can upgrade it to Win Windows 10 32-bit when you click on upgrade from that browser. But if you would like to use a 64-bit uh, operating system where the reason could be you want to utilize more RAM and stuff like that, then you need to make sure that your hardware is compatible for that. I have another video that I created that and I'm going to put that link in the description. You should watch that video if you're in this category. Now, we're going to show you in the beginning that can you find out easily that can is your system compatible and can you do the upgrade to Windows 10. So let's do that. I know have Windows 7 64-bit system. Even by having a 64-bit system, I know that it's basically compatible with Windows 10. So if you have a 64-bit Windows 7, then you are compatible with Windows 10. So if, like I said, uh, to find out for people to kind of like, you know, know this exactly from inside the computer, let's go ahead and turn it on. It could be anyone with a 32-bit system or 74, uh, sorry, 7, uh, 7, Windows 7 64-bit system. So we'll find that out right now. So I logged into my machine. The first thing you need to do is to click on start, right click and go to properties. And the first thing you need to make sure for that to work is you need to have service pack one. If you're using eight Windows 8, you need to have 8.1 update for this to uh, get the Windows 10. Then you need to make sure that you have at least more than one gigahertz. So right here, I have 3.30, so I am I'm good with this also CPU. Then you need to make sure at least you have more than 1 GB for 32-bit and 2 GB for 64-bit. I have 8 GB RAM in there, so I'm pretty good with that too. So, But what if you um, want to check if your um, you know, hardware is compatible? So you might even have all this stuff, but can you check if your hardware is compatible? Meaning, uh, the way you check it is, I'm going to give you a very small tool to check it out, and it's really easy to find out. So let's go ahead and do that. Windows 10 compatibility. This is the link. And sixty four bit compatibility. Let's get this down. Wrong. <clears throat> Own a thirty two bit system, sixty four bit compatibility checker. 64 bit checker download uh, whatever that has here 64 bit checker and we're going to run that
getting upgraded. I'm just walking around and chilling. It's done. So, use express settings. This is probably the answer to a lot of people that will be commenting, what will happen to my files? This is where it is. And this is what you get. So you can see I have Chrome. My application is right there. Nothing changed, just the operating system itself changed. And let's see if our license is activated. That's the most important thing. So right click on the start, go to system and you can see it's activated without me putting any license key or anything everything is good so this is how you update upgrade from 64-bit windows 7 to windows 10 64-bit i'm also going to share this link with you guys so if you guys want to upgrade windows 7 32-bit to windows 10 32 then watch this video um if you are upgrading windows 7 10 from 32-bit to windows 64-bit then you need to do a little bit more watch that video and to check if your system is compatible there's a link that I have shared with you guys so you click on this run that application and it will tell you that your CPU supports 64-bit operating system if you do have that and all the other requirements met then go for it you can get the Windows 10 when you have a successful installation done with Windows 10 this is how you feel you know? <laughs> See guys, this is life. Um, another thing um, I want to discuss everybody that's watching this video. If you have, uh, if you're going to become an IT person, you're going to towards this career, make sure to go to thejobscliche.org. We have 15,000 people that are taking these courses and so many people have success. Your brother, your sister, your mother, whatever, I mean, whoever is going to become an IT person, trust me, they're going to this very stressful uh, days these days because because if you're new to this stuff it's very stressful I mean imagine if you're a normal person you're trying to watch this video to be just like install the Windows 10 you're going you're, you're watching this video because you know you need technical help and that's fine because that's this is not your thing you know this is not your thing this is not what you do you are professional in something else so think about it there are a lot of people that are trying to become an IT people IT person or going through the IT education so make sure you share this information with them you know um, that is the whole thing that I'm making these videos just to share to help other people so you can help other people by sharing these videos and the site so then they can also be successful thank you